Get your mask. Get your mask on. Like your, hmm? your template? No, this is the door. Oh. <laughs> this is how it starts. Solid piece of wood, man. Just getting ready to sand it up. Cool. I'm Travis. I'm Erin. And we are our life of tribe. See, it's hey. getting more natural. <laughs> yep. So today is Friday, May 29th, and we are in the final like week of finishing the Aloha renovation. Yeah, I was just I was just thinking about this renovation before you walked in here. Well, it's the only thing I've been thinking about the last month, but um, how big of a deal this one is for us and our business. Yeah. This is the first one that we bought ourselves and completely renovated specifically for a family. For a client from beginning to end. So the first meeting, the purchase of the RV, all the way to the final, yeah. yeah. And like how it's been designed for the things they needed it to be for and all of that stuff. So this is like a really important trailer right now. And we've had this one on hand for a while. Too long. <laughs> but that's because they weren't planning to travel. They're not planning to go full time until July. And then they didn't have anywhere to store it until then. So yeah. we had kind of taken some other work in between, held onto the trailer because we found it right away. Um, and so yeah. now this one will be done. We decided, well, Travis told me today, why don't we text them and tell them next Sunday they can come pick it up. So we're gonna do that today. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. We're gonna text them and let them know it's ready. You'll probably work through the weekend this weekend. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a 10 day, 10 hours a day, if well, not it's, more. <laughs> it's close, it's just, uh, I got It's the, a lot of little things. Yeah, the little finishing pieces and then the door and the table, which I wanna take time on to make sure they're you know, super special for them, so. And then tonight, we have our Ikea pickup order which we have been waiting for months throughout this entire COVID for Ikea to open. At first the delivery was like $129 and they wouldn't deliver half of what we needed. So we have been anxiously waiting for Ikea. And we yeah. last week submitted our order, got a pickup time in Covina, which is a direction we never drive in. So nope. we gotta look <laughs> up directions. We typically go to the Ikea in San Diego. Yep. Um, but our beds, the bunks are fit to their mattress size because they have a cool mattress size. And uh, yeah, we have a lot of stuff that we're gonna go pick up tonight. So. Yeah, it'll be a lot of the finishing stu stuff, you know, that yeah. all of a sudden turns it into looking done rather than looking like not done. So, so we're gonna take our first family drive in 11 weeks <laughs> I, out of town. I'm like, Oddly, really excited. <laughs> we have not left town as a family in 11 weeks. Like that's wild. wild. Especially for us, because we we go and do big things often. Yeah, so we are going to head out and grab dinner and eat it in the car or maybe picnic somewhere and hit Ikea, pick up that stuff. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and do one final really good walkthrough and share with you where we are with this trailer. And then you won't see it again until it is- The final reveal. The final review, the final walkthrough, the final tour, 
And, uh, and that one, I was thinking about that I want to reveal it to the family. I was thinking about that one earlier, like once it's totally done, we kind of do a super detailed walkthrough and show the things we totally changed and, yeah. and all the stuff that did go into it. And then, you know, have them come in and, you know, I'm super excited to see that. I, I know yeah. they're really excited. So, yep. So we are going cool. to, uh, yeah. All right. I'm going to hand it over to you and you can, uh, give the tour. All right. There's a lot of little things that will be happening in the next 10 days to get this finished. Um, that wire will be hidden and that will be painted white. We're going to put a shelf above the bed for books and baskets, that sort of thing. Um, I'm ordering new outlets and so those will be changed out. But for the most part, this front bedroom is done. We've got a few little accent pieces we'll put in here just to gift the family. And then as we step back, the barn door, that's what Travis is working on right now. That will go in. Here's the custom little buffet that he built. There's an outlet behind this cabinet, which is great. An outlet there. Tons of storage, which it can serve as like a pantry space shelf and stuff there and a really nice drawer because everybody needs a junk drawer um, we've still got handles coming in so drawer poles that we'll put on all of these and as we scroll over here to the kitchen we've got the light that will go in check out this backsplash you guys the backsplash turned out so pretty um, I will tag below where I picked it up but we decided to go with peel and stick because this family will be traveling full-time and we didn't want to risk tile cracking so we take that into consideration whether they'll be moving a lot or not um and then if you scroll around to this side we're picking up a mattress from ikea today that will go here and i'll add some big throw pillows to the back these huge drawers are going to be such an amazing space for storage and there's two of them blankets towels coats jackets so much storage over here is where the table will go and travis will build that this week um, we worked on a new way to finish this slide i know that this is a question we get a lot I'm not quite sure how travis did this but it came out stunning and so we'll have to talk about that with him um so then back here in the kids' bunk space, Travis has finished the ladder, which he custom built and welded and then sprayed. It came out so pretty. It also serves as a support to hold up this top bunk. And now that the support's there, I'll come up and finish the wallpaper. Wallpaper down there is done. And then we bought a locker system to go here in this space. And rather than building another unit, sometimes adding furniture can make the space feel so much more like a home. So we'll add that there. And this will be the kids' room in the back. So you swing around here to the bathroom. We've got the vanity. Sink is in. And Travis just finished the shower today. It is gorgeous. The shower head and nozzle will go in. And that's exciting. I love how it turned out. We went with these. These are actually peel and stick. It's the same thing we did in the fifth wheel on the floor. We decided to go ahead and do it in the shower because we loved how nice it went. Um, we loved how nice it was to install and that this really provides them a good wall space. We have a really cool mirror that will go up here. And that's that. She is coming together. The white is just amazing. That kitchen space is amazing. Oh, you guys, it's so exciting. So there's the update. So the next time we will share this rig with you will be when the family sees it and we do that big reveal for them. Which is super exciting. I'm excited for them to come see it and uh, check out their new living space. So tonight, dinner, Ikea, and that's it.
So what's the process of building a barn door? Um, the most important thing is uh, having the support for the actual barn door rail. That's like, is that what you mean by that or you thinking like design? Aspect? All of it. Yeah, so that, that's the most important thing is having it, the, all, everything into a stud. And so I have to kind of build that myself. We have to build a wall that has the support on top of it. Um, so that's, that's the most important thing is making sure it's strong enough. Is that the most important thing? <laughs> you said it like four times. Well, it's that important. I'm just making sure it's important. <laughs> so yeah, and then after that, man, it's kind of figuring out uh, something cool. I don't want to, I'm try. I try really hard not to look at anything so that I'm not copying anybody's stuff. So yeah, I just kind of daydream up a design and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, it's not too complicated. Measuring, I mean, you have to have all the measurements right. The doors have to sit at a certain depth, you know, for it to mount and slide. Um, so there's a lot of like little steps you have to, to look at before you do it. I'm glad I'm not building it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. It's not super complicated, but it's also not something you would just want to do without knowing what you're doing, I guess. Because if that barn door fell where you're traveling, that would be bad. It caused some serious damage, I think. So, did that answer the question? I probably not. Sure. <laughs> so yeah. All right. What time do you want to leave? It's like three thirty. Let's go. Three forty-five. River's asleep though. I think he's leaving in the car. But yeah, I'm gonna wake him up and then put him back to sleep again in the car. Perfect. Let's go. Uh, 30 minutes. Okay. Okay. Peace out. Peace out. I like watching you walk away. That's okay, because you're my husband. <laughs> right, so that is uh, the Aloha rig update. There's the Meredith fifth wheel. That's next to be finished. And that is like three quarters of the way done. Um. All, I think all the big things in that one are really done, which is really exciting. Um, it's a lot of little things and details that we add to that one next and uh, get her to her family. And then after that, whoo, it's gonna be fun. Lots of stuff happening. So stay tuned. All right, so kids are getting packed up. Trenton asked if we were going overnight somewhere. No. Not going overnight, are we? No, I wish. You wish? I wish that the earth in the fire. Can you go hang up that Paw Patrol towel outside, please? Yeah. River is, has been running a low fever, going on day two, cutting teeth, is miserable. And uh, so he's not too happy with life, but he just took a nap. Gonna get him his favorite things, his sippy and head out. All right, packed up, heading out. What are we doing for dinner? In and out. That's, what was that thing? Love in and out, but that that's like, that's like in all we ever do is in and out. Is that, there's no other options? Nope. All right, well, if you know our family, that's what we eat. And if you ever come visit us, that's where we take you. Did you go on an adventure? Yep. Yeah, we walked all the way down to where that little hole is. Did you walk so far? <laughs> then you kind of walked the way back. Yeah. I'll take it. You ready? It's so weird that we're going somewhere else and we're leaving our home. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We've never really gone anywhere else besides family. Did you weeks. lock the door? Yep. Are you buckled? No. Buckle, please. Do I need a new Hey! Yeah, I need to buckle. We also didn't forget our masks. I don't. Bye, Kona. Bye, Hannah and Kona. I will miss you, you, but there's no Kona.
your mask. Get your mask on. Boom. Get your oh, mask on. The flour. <laughs> Do you feel so manly in that mask? So manly. No, you don't. You feel like the kid when you were like 10. Yeah. I feel a like beard. a kid when I was 10. Look at all the beer coming out. <laughs> Are you zooming on it? Uh huh. It's just like Dad's work mask. Pretty there much. just ends up the beer just ends up going in and then going straight back out. The things that we've ordered from IKEA for this um, for the Aloha RV would be mattresses for the kids bunks because they're cut specifically to a certain size. Um, mattress for the couch the locker system a big mirror with storage in it some lights you have the order number, honey? Um, we also purchased some bedding for the kids beds and i think that might be about it uh, so quite a bit of things but things we really specifically wanted from here so we're excited to have gotten a spot and a pickup and uh I'm gonna pick it all up and go get some dinner. Man, look at that face. So handsome. Yeah. My sick me man's hat. You can get that for your birthday? <coughs> yeah. I'm not sick. What up? Yeah. What's up, the clouds? Here, I take a picture of you. I'm just kidding. Yeah, they're ginormous. Maybe we can go in the kids' room. In the bunk house? <laughs> So what I realized today with Travis, I had said River hasn't walked anywhere but our house. And my parents. That's it. <laughs> you feel good to be out? So we've got our IKEA stuff, had dinner, yep. have a fussy baby, yep. ready to get home. And we got Trenton. And we text the owners of the oh. yeah, she Aloha replied. rig. <laughs> What'd she say? She said, oh my god, that's awesome. We have to try and see if we can make that date work. So uh, we're <laughs> counting down the days. We're at like 10 days. Yeah. So 10 more days for this renovation to be complete. And that's it. Can't wait. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of our daily stuff, head over to our Instagram at Our Lively Tribe and check us out for everyday madness. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Peace out. Bye.